Right, morning folks. I've got a Webberley Raider 12 in for service and seals. It was leaking air out of the end of the cylinder there and the non-return valve. On these, it's you've got to change the entire valve that sits within this end bit. Uh, you can buy um, online from various places, but there's a valve that goes in that end that you've got to change. There's also a valve in this end that you've got to change that sticks out the end there. You can determine whether it's leaking or not out the valves by air coming out that little hole there once it's been charged up. The other thing that you need to start looking at is that. Inside there is a little piece of copper called a burst disc. And if you try to overfill the cylinder, that goes pop. Now, apparently, this one had been done, they've changed all the seals in it, but it was still leaking. And they didn't think to look underneath here. And when they said they could still feel air coming out of it, I said, yeah, it'll be the burst disc that's broke. Them burst discs are a fiver apiece for a little bit of copper. And basically, what happens is when you fill the cylinder, if you overfill it, it pushes that piece of copper up wherever it's gone there it pushes that little piece of copper up inside that little brass bit and it vents out that little hole there so if you've got a Webley Raider 12 one of the newer ones or you've got a Corral most corrals have got this very same uh, cylinder system on it. When you've done the seals, make sure that you get hold of a burst disc and you pop it back in there, tighten that down, but don't tighten it too tight because it will start to deform that little piece of copper there. And over time, the copper disc gets weak and you'll come to fill it up and it literally blows the disc like that so there you go Webley Raider 12 top tip if you're buying a seal kit for it buy the burst disc and change that burst disc